My name is Marty Reese, and I've been uh, sculpting since um, like about 20, about 24 years. I've been an artist all of my life, but really picked up sculpture in my art school days, which would be considered Laguna College of Art and Design at Laguna Beach, California. I had an amazing sculpting teacher and um, and just really love sculpture. I paint and draw as well, as you can see um, my, my palette in the background there. Um, but my expertise is really like the figure portraiture um, gesture, uh, animation, the, the work that like really brings a work to life. And I really strive to create classical works that feel like something you would see from Europe from a long time ago. Um, with, with a real emphasis on emotional content. So most, most of the pieces that I, I have a, a gallery work as well as pieces that are at hospitals, museums, and at schools. The piece that you see behind me is this, is St. Elizabeth of Hungary, and she's being created for a hospital in Enumclaw, as well as the, the bell cricket over here is a gallery piece of mine and includes glass as well as bronze. So they have glass lanterns. So um, the piece that I have created for the California Art Club gold medal show this year is St. Michael. And I don't have it at my studio right now since I am still completing the last parts to it. Um, but it is a, it's St. Michael the Angel. And I really wanted it to, to be him to be really like strong and, and protective. I really love um, just the figure and muscles as well. So I really wanted you, I really wanted it to feel um, strong. So he's sort of flying in um, and he is, has his uh, right arm posed to pull out a sword and um, he is has these beautiful wings that I sculpted as well. And I cut part of them to a way to and cast them in glass. When this piece was first assembled in its final piece as a bronze and glass wings, I was so stunned and just shocked at how beautiful it came out because I, as you work as a sculptor, you start originally in clay and then you um, make a mold and work to wax. And so you're seeing it sort of like in this chocolate color in wax. And then in order to get those pieces to fit together, you have to like fit them in wax, the, the glass fits inside the edges of the bronze wings. And so you're not really like sure how this reflective dark surface is as in terms of the bronze is gonna look with the translucent sort of luminosity of the glass. And when it was finished, I, I was, really moved by it and feel like I think that you will love it too. So one of the things that I did want to add about making this piece is that I looked I looked at lots of St. Michael sculptures um, and particularly a lot of paintings of St. Michael. And it's always like him like defying the devil, um, those kinds of things. And I would look at all these paintings of the wings and be like, okay, how am I going to do that? No problem. And I started to work on it. And I realized that it is a lot, I have to like sculpt both sides of the wings, not just one side. And the more I got into it, the more I was like, this is not gonna work. I have to have some real wings. So I was really lucky that there's a museum nearby that collects real wings. 
of all different types of birds and they have drawers full of them. And I was able to get them to uh, let me allow me to borrow a right and a left wing because I just knew I couldn't do only one one side without having to try to flip it in my mind, which is way too difficult. So I hung the wings, which are they're about like um, two and a half, three feet wide, and I would hang them on the easel and then sculpt from them and even with the wing sitting right there in front of me, it was very hard to decipher what I was seeing of which feather from the inside to the outside. So um, kudos to all of those artists who to do wings all of the time because it is kind of like piano keys in terms of figuring out how many feathers forward and backwards and where they layer and how they relate front to back. It was uh, an incredible project and I really loved how it turned out. I am looking forward to seeing what you think of it and I hope that you want to take it home.